That's a copper hand. Really not that bad, I'll tell you. Alright guys. He said these guys' bites don't hurt. And he's kind of right. These little snakes like this have tiny little pin teeth. Tiny, tiny teeth. And really the prey that they're biting is small so they don't need big teeth. Now, if a venomous snake bites you, a copperhead rattlesnake, they've got big hypodermic needles and it's like getting a shot. So yeah, that would hurt. A black rat snake, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna have blood all the way around it. What you gotta do is clean it. If you know it's not venomous, that's all you gotta do. And if you go to the doctor's office and you think you're bit by a venomous snake, they can't really treat you with antivenom unless they know kind of what it is that that beat you, because they're working on an antivenom that they can treat all the woods in Tennessee. But listen, if you're bit by a copperhead and they treat you with rattlesnake antivenom, and guess what they just put into your bloodstream? Rattlesnake. So you could get sick from that. They're trying to figure out a way around it and they may have it now. But if you get bit by a venomous snake, the doctors have to know. But 90% of the time, it's not, and it just needs to be cleaned. But if you ever think you are, Let's just address that while we're here. I'm going to get another one out. What do you do? What do you do if you're bitten by a venomous snake? Go to the hospital or something. How much time do you have? About a minute. Because usually, if you're bitten by a venomous snake, you have an hour to die from it. Yeah. And you survive. Guys, most of the shows you see, those are snakes of overseas that you have an hour. You have days and sometimes weeks. Y'all listen, listen. Guys, listen. You have time. You have time. The, baby, the, the, the venom will do damage, but you don't have to rush. That can even make you sicker. Take your time. Get to the doctor. Clean it. Now, if you're allergic to bees, the elderly, the young, the venom affects them a little bit different. Huh? All right, guys. Everybody get a good look. Ball python. This is native to Western Africa. Shouldn't see him crawling around in the woods here. If you do, you need to call somebody. <laughs> He's not going to make it long. He has to be warm. And it's not warm enough here to keep him alive. And I'm going to show you something with him in a minute and show you why I've actually brought this kind of snake. And then I'll let you guys hold him and pet him if you want to do that.